It's October in a Kodi Tanikaha forest in the North Island is the time to find green hood orchids. And I'm holding in my hand Tutu Kiwi, our largest green hooded orchid. This is Terrastylus banksii. It was one of the discoveries made by Alan Cunningham in the 1830s in the Bay of Islands. And it was also one of the first New Zealand orchids to be cultivated in Europe. Bulbs were sent by Cunningham to Kew Gardens where they grew them and when they flowered they couldn't believe what they were looking at. It was quite an unusual orchid at that time for them to see. But this orchid, like all orchids, has an interesting way of being pollinated. And so the first thing about the orchid flower, and in this case in Terrastylus, it's a fused structure of the flower. This is called a galea. And here we've got these tail-like structures which stick out and you can actually bend them back. And these are the sepals of the flower. And then up the top here is another sepal. In the middle here are three petals. And if we carefully dissect off, we can see the naughty bits, if you like. The labellum is a modified petal, which is peculiar to orchids. A tongue-like structure. And if we carefully take the tongue off, we'll see inside the stigma and the pollinia, the reproductive parts of this flower. The other thing you'll notice is that the flower is striped, quite prominently, green and a sort of whitish, creamy colour. And at the back of the galea, the whitish structures are larger, more conspicuous, and how they run to the top, it's gone green again. And there's method to that. What happens is that the tongue the labellum of this orchid when it hasn't been pollinated it's irritable it's quite loose it sits to the front sticking out between the sepals and this particular species is pollinated by small little midges and they fly in they land on the tip of that labellum the labellum flicks back and it topples the little fly down to the base here it's sitting in a dark hole and as it looks up it can see these windows if you like of light so it tries to call up it's going for where the light is so as they climb along they are forced to squeeze through the pollinia dust in pollen and then they fly out. If the little midge has been to another flower and it covered in pollen, as it crawls up it goes through the stigma which is sticky and any pollen that's on it will get smeared on the stigma before it gets decked if you like in another lump of pollen. As it comes to the top it's now dark and but it can see the light out here so it flies out. If it hasn't been successfully pollinated it will reset itself usually within a few hours. So that's Tutu Kiwi, common species in September, October, particularly in Kauri Tanikaha Forest.